I got this turkey, this huge, probably 17, 18 pound turkey, maybe even more. I don't remember. Anyway, I got it on sale at Meyer back when we were having Thanksgiving. I got it on sale for 37 cents a pound, and I thought, you know what? I'm just going to get it. It was frozen when I bought it. I'm going to get it, put it in a freezer, not thought out. And when I do thaw it out, I'm going to cut it up and refreeze it. Now, a lot of people say, oh my goodness, it's not good to refreeze meat. Yes, you can refreeze. It is safe to refreeze. As long as you, when you thaw it out, as long as you do not leave it to thaw out on a counter or out in the open, it should always be thawed out in your refrigerator. Or, like as in my case, my sun porch, which is, you know, less than 40 degrees out there like a big walk-in cooler. And if you're going to refreeze it, you need to do it within three days of being thawed and then that you can safely refreeze it. So I want to cut this up in pieces because I'm not going to roast this whole thing. And I got a bucket over there for all this extra stuff. So anyway, I do this quite often and, uh, I got the, now it's not completely thawed out. It's still frozen inside the cavity, which is okay. I can still detach everything and, you know, cut everything out. The legs are, are pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to start right here, and I'm going to separate this. And then on this side, I'm just going to separate right in through here. Pull down on those legs a little bit because this is a they're boogers to okay now if you do this right you can get right in that joint right in there and you can cut it right right into it You can get to it. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to pop out that joint. Oh, it's like rustling tires. Probably is because it's a little on the frozen side yet. There we go. All right. There you have your leg and thigh. So we're going to cut this off. I'm sure not keeping that. And then I'm just going to cut my leg from my thigh. Find the joint and you can cut right through it. There. There you go. So I got my leg, my sink is all clean and bleached out and sanitized. So I'm going to put this down in there, but I am going to cut this little bit of skin off. Okay, so there's your beautiful thigh. Look at that. And then once it's completely thawed out, I'll probably debone the thighs. Anyway, so, okay, I'm going to go over here and do this side. Counter's a little high up. Let's see if I can't pop that leg. Okay. There. 
Here's my other leg. Now my, oh, this is really, really, really cold because it's still froze inside the cavity of it. But it's still good to There's a nice leg. I'm going to use those for soup. This thing will make so many meals. And there's the other beautiful thigh. See that? How nice that is? Alright, now let's see here. See that piece of ice in there? I'm going to flip this over. Hopefully cut right down through there. I'm going to save that for stock. Ooh, I got to warm my hands up. I got to turn the camera off, take a break, and warm my hands. I'll be right back. And back. We are going to cut where the wing is. Let's see if we can't pop that out of socket. Maybe not. This turkey is big. There we go. And I'm going to cut this piece here off. I want, I'll save that little piece for stock. Okay, now let's give this side a try. Let's see if we have any better luck over here. Sometimes these are hard to do, but you know what? It's a lot of meals for, oh my gosh, 37 cents a pound. That will make a lot of meals. the wing. Nice, nice. All right, so let's see with this. I'll finish cutting this back piece right out of here. Because this is just going to be used for stock, so it's not going to be wasted either. Chunk for stock. All right, now you got this beautiful breast with the skin still intact. 
This is coming off because I don't like that. With all the skin still on. So you could just take and you could freeze this just the way it is. Or you can, you know, debone it. I am just simply going to cut it in half. And I may have to wait till it is um, thawed enough to do so. Yeah, it's not going to work. And I might just freeze it just like that because that'd make a beautiful, beautiful stuffed turkey breast. I think that's what I'm going to do, friends. I'm just going to leave that hole because I can shrink wrap that in a nice big bag. And put it in the freezer but I've got all these beautiful parts so there's my gorgeous breast there's my wings here's my legs and my thighs and they're both split gorgeous and there is what I've got left for my stock in my sink down there which is a nice big bunch that's left for stock see that and then the wing tips nice I'm gonna package that up and save that for stock as well so there you have it friends it's that easy I'm gonna go through now and I'm just gonna vacuum seal everything and put it in the freezer and the turkey wasn't even completely thawed when I cut when I cut into it so that's even better so that's it thanks for watching we're gonna cut right down the side of this bone here There, there is half of the breast that is deboned, except this little tiny piece right here. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. There, there's one side of the breast with the bone off. I think that's a better size. I think that's what I'm going to do with this one, too. You just cut right along that bone as close to it as you can get and you know what this works really well because it's still partially froze I think that's the only reason why I'm having such an easy time because usually it's 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 a booger to do wishbone right there in front okay look at there friends look at how nice that come off and I won't throw that out either that'll be a nice thing or a nice chunk for stock I'm going to cut this little bit of tendon out of here See, this piece of tendon here will get really tough if there's still some in it. But anyway, with that, there's my two boneless breasts. Now, I'm not going to take the skin off. Look at the chunks of fat. This was a fat turkey. Anyway, so there you have it. That's how I do it. So, I'm going to get that all bagged up and vacuum packed. And everything will be good. Get it back in the freezer. It's not quite thawed now. So it'll be wonderful. And I get a lot of meals out of that. And I'll get some beautiful stock. And I'll probably get a lot of stock out of that too. So there you have it, friends. That's how simple it is to cut up a whole turkey. 
Thanks for watching.